Having trouble winning games in college football 25? Whether you're struggling to pass on offense, or struggling to stop anybody on defense, <laughs> this is the video for you, as the solution could be as simple as a gameplay function that you're not using. So if you guys want to see six gameplay functions for beginners designed to make this game much easier, stick around after the intro. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. In today's video, if you're struggling to win games in college football 25, I'm going to go over six different functions in the game that are designed to help new players. These are the functions that make the game as easy as possible, some of them even going as far as playing the game for you, or at least putting you on rails to the point where they'll take you to the ball, especially on defense. But before before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. If you need more help or more money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now I'm going to start off on offense, and if you're struggling with passing, there is a passing type that's easier than the rest. To find your passing type, just hit the pause button and go to the options menu, then settings, and at any point in time in any game, you can go down to passing mechanics. And at the moment, you can see I have it set to revamp passing, which in itself is pretty easy based off the fact that there really is no uh, penalty when it comes to throwing the ball in a red. You can still complete the pass. You can still have accuracy compared to some other games where maybe, you know, throwing the ball uh, like this would end up in you just having a horrible inaccuracy that might, you know, see the ball thrown out of bounds. There are penalties such as um, the fact that you're not going to be able to catch the ball in stride. You can see I'm coming back to the football a lot. Uh, I'm not necessarily uh, getting the best catch and run and there is a higher chance of getting the ball knocked out. But if you're struggling with revamp passing and you want to make it even easier than this, you can try classic passing, which is the old style of passing. There's no throw meter. Classic passing takes away the throwing meter entirely, make it even easier to complete passes. All you have to do is either tap the receiver icon or hold it down for a bullet pass. But I'm not just going to give you my opinion on this. I'm also going to put it to the test by running the pass skeleton and seeing which one I use gets a higher score. So I'm going to run one with revamp passing and one with classic passing. And whichever one gets the higher score is obviously the easiest one. So my first game with classic passing, I got bronze, which I don't think was necessarily that bad considering I don't use this passing type. But let's see what we do with revamped. So with revamped passing, I got a slightly higher score, but I also had a tougher team. It automatically selects what team you go against. And in the first competition, I went against like Middle Tennessee State or something like that. In the second competition, I got Ohio State. I don't think it necessarily matters who you go up against. But the fact that I got a higher score against a better defense is, to me, says enough. So revamp passing is definitely the way to go. But if you're struggling with that, if you're not really happy with the passing meter, like I said, give classic passing a try, as it might be slightly easier. Next up, we're going to go over defense, starting with a gameplay helper that should probably be turned on if you're having trouble tackling. And that's defensive heat seeker assist. As this will help to steer user-controlled defenders towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them. You'll notice that you can also change the percentage on the defensive heat seeker window size, as 100% is not the max, as this actually allows you to go all the way up to 200%. This here, combined with a certain type of tackling, will act like a magnet sucking you into the ball carrier and helping you to make a lot more tackles in any situation. But like anything else, I'll put this to the test again. We're first going to try this with defensive heat seeker off. Now I'm going to combine these with my next tip, and that's the preferred tackling type when using Defensive Heat Seeker Assist, and that is the Breakdown Tackle, which you can access simply by getting close to a ball carrier and tapping the A button. And you'll notice that especially with Defensive Heat Seeker Assist on, it will pull you closer to the running back, even if the running back's changing direction making it a much simpler way to tackle than something like a dive tackle or a hit stick, as you really don't get much assistance from them the same way you do get from the breakdown tackle function. For this, we're simply going to do chase and tackle and see which one we can get a higher score on. To give you guys some feedback on this, when I started the drill, I felt fast and explosive to the edge to the point where I knocked the running back backwards on like the first six carries. The drill starts at the 30-yard line, but I got him all the way back behind the 40 before he ran an inside run and I got stuck on one of the tackle dummies, allowing him to go to the house for a touchdown. And I also noticed that I whiffed a couple of times, so there was definitely room for improvement, but I definitely also had a very good score. So let's see if putting defensive heat seeker assist on can help. 
left. We're also gonna try to mess with the Heat Seeker window size, starting off with 100%. So for my first full game with Heat Seeker Assist on, I definitely felt the difference as far as feeling slower and less explosive, but it also felt more consistent, as even when I did miss on tackles, I missed by a much smaller margin. And towards the end of it, I even had a goal line stance where I even tackled the running back through one of the tackle dummies, which was very interesting considering that, once again, I don't think I would have got that animation without Heat Seeker Assist turned on. So for my first game with Heat Seeker Assist on, I got a new high score. It definitely felt different. I felt slower, but I also felt a little bit more consistent. But I definitely felt the difference as far as, it felt like I was on rails a little bit. Like you could feel the magnetism of the, uh, the linebacker just kind of being pulled in different directions which I didn't necessarily feel when I had Heat Seeker Assist turned off. So I definitely felt less freedom. But let's go ahead and let's move this window size up all the way to the top at 200%. And I definitely felt the difference with that set to 200% as I got my highest score by far of 52,000. And I was also getting some crazy animations. I couldn't help but notice while using this that a lot of times I would take a bad step or a bad angle, but if I was close enough to the running back, it would auto correct that and essentially just put me back on the running back and make an easy tackle. I even got a ridiculous animation where I tackled the running back through alignment even further away as I was using the trick of tapping the A or X button, whether an Xbox or PlayStation, throughout the entire drill to make safe tackles, and it was constantly suctioning me in. One time, even going as far as me catching the running back from behind, which you typically don't even do in this game. So this is definitely a cheat code I would definitely recommend if you're having trouble tackling which a lot of people are to try putting this on and setting it to its max of 200% to see if you have much more chances and much more luck of tackling people from all different angles front back sideways you name it next up if you're not very good on defense you don't know where to use her or who to cover during a play all you have to do is hold the left bumper or the L1 button once the play starts and it will do all that for you as you can see right here I didn't even hit my directional stick and I ran underneath uh, the running back or underneath the receiver on the left side if i switch to this linebacker here i'll do the exact same thing i don't do anything i'm not hitting the right stick i'm simply just pressing the l1 or the lb button to activate a control called defensive assist as this is a new function that basically plays defense for you regardless of what position you play so if i want to play this curl flat all i have to do once again once the play starts hold the left bumper in and you can see how i didn't move until i hit that left bumper and that includes run defense as I decided to play as a safety on the next play. All I did was hold in the L1 or the LB button. And you can see here how it did everything for me, eventually making the tackle on the running back, even though he got about five yards down the field. Doing this though will essentially revert to Madden's AI. So if you want help for them to get you in position, that's fine, but I would eventually take over and make the play yourself. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys learned anything in this video, please make sure to be a subscriber. And if you wanna see more tip videos about College Football 25, I'll have them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Let's shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.